28 and a half after the hour. Coach John Limbaugh, Coach's Corner segment, uh, head football coach and athletic director at Fayetteville, brought to you by Lori Darlings in Fayetteville. And, you know, the, every year, Coach, uh, Lori Darling and her uh, group, they do mm -hmm. a, a fundraiser for a special person yes. uh, every day in the holiday season. And that's always exciting. It's always exciting. Our church is fortunate enough to be able to take part in that. And, and uh, she does a great job, not just with the food, but her work with the community. She mm -hmm. does a great job. With that, we appreciate it so very much. No doubt about it. Two locations uh, in Childersburg at the golf course in downtown Fayetteville, Alabama. It's Lori Darling, some great, great food. And check it out this holiday season. Well, Coach, uh, a season, uh, football season officially over. Right. And uh, we didn't get to talk last week, but uh, it's been an up and down season for the Wolves. It has. Had a great game the other day. Uh, won that thing in you know, 47 to 12. Uh, had a really good game plan, and it came to fruition. Uh, you know, Cam Hammonds played a great game, had about 150 yards rushing. He's been tearing it up, hasn't he? he? He's got like 1,300 on a year. He's an all-state top player. Is he had a senior? A, no, he's not. He's wow. A, he's only a sophomore. Wow. So we're going to enjoy his, uh, what he brings to the table for a couple more years, absolutely. Yeah. But I think he's an all-state top player, and uh, he'll play at the next level, so he desires. He'll play at the next he's level. he got good grades? Good, good grades. Good. He's, he's coming on him. And, you know, uh, we had some other people play really well, too. Uh, um, offensive line really opened up some holes. Uh, really glad of the job that, that they did. And uh, defense uh, really just uh, played an outstanding ball game. Uh, Landon Payton, a uh, couple catches, a uh, uh, touchdown. Uh, just, just over and over, I can mention, player after player, you know, quarterback Britton Cottrell did a great job, threw the ball really nicely. So it was a great win for our seniors to go out on top, and we appreciate all the, the work they've done for us. It was, a, it was a good final game of the season. Wish more games had gone that way all year. Uh, you said the up and downs of the season. Everybody that uh, we matched up with, we played really well. There are some teams uh, like Comer, uh, Thor's, but we just didn't match mm -hmm. up against. And, um, Not much you can do about it, really. Yes, you, you know, you, you look at our kids played so hard. Uh, the coaches worked hard on their plan and uh, their, their craft and everything was, it was good on paper. But when you mm -hmm. get on the field, these guys are outweighing you by so much and, and uh, got so many more guys on the sidelines than you. It's a tough, tough haul sometimes. So how would you, you've had a week or so to kind of digest the season. How would you describe the season for Fayetteville that's just finished? Well, I think in a lot of ways the season was, was successful. Uh, our kids never stopped, and that's what life's all about, mm -hmm. to get back up and keep going and to teach kids that things don't work out all the way you, you want them to always. So, But our kids did a good job. They were resilient all year. They fought back. You see that by the score of the last ball game. Last of the year, we played a really good ball. So uh, next year, I believe we're going to be a 1A school. Mm -hmm. I really believe that. When is that decided? December? It's decided in December. Okay. We, we should know by, I've heard December the 6th, December 13th, along in that area there. We, yeah. should, we should know by then. Yeah. Now, uh, at times, Fayetteville were rung up the scoreboard this year. You know, right. they put a lot of points on the board. Yeah. Offense, we uh, moved the ball really well all year. I appreciate the job Coach Collier, uh, Mo C, did. Did a great job. Just, just fantastic. Uh, offensive line moving people. A, a lot better job this year uh, than last year. So, we, we've got a lot of things set in place, Jimmy, for, for next year. The program's in great shape. And uh, if we go down to that 1A level, we'll be competitive with everybody we play against. I hear many, many coaches talk about off-season, how important it is, getting in that weight room. Weight room, weight room, yeah. weight room. That's, all, that's what I hear. That's what it's all, and you hear correctly. Uh, Coach Carl was showing me, the day before yesterday, was showing me the weight room numbers and how they're jumping, how many people lifting over 350 pounds on squat mm -hmm. and so forth. That is, and it's really looking nice. It's really coming around. We're lifting so much more weight now. So just, uh, you know, we've been lifting all through the season doing season lifts. Now we're out of season doing, mm -hmm. you know, bigger lifts and more lifting and, and uh, the conditioning on the field. So uh, we're really after it, and it's going to pay your dividends when you do that all year. Our summer work, we'll really get into it. We'll do our seven-on-sevens. We'll be in the weight room. <laughs> we'll do our community service. We'll be very involved this summer. No doubt about it. Coach John Limbaugh, the head football coach and athletic director 
of the Fed Warriors. Before we get to basketball, let's talk a little bit about the young man who had a, a, a severe injury uh, against B.B. Comer and suffered a broken leg. And uh, you know, How's that going? Justice Patterson is healing up nicely. He had surgery, had a rod put in. Uh, it was a, a high uh, break on his femur. Uh, but he's a, a tough young guy and uh, got a great attitude, and, and he'll be back in school here before long. He still ain't made it back to school yet. Yeah. He's, you know, he's was up with this, this very serious injury. So they've been taking their time with him. But he's he's going to be okay. I spoke to his mom the other day, and they were going back to the doctor, and she said she'll let me know. But he's, he's doing good. He's recovering, recovering nicely. I really appreciate you asking me about him. You know, when you see a young man uh, get hurt, on the, the football field, uh, everything else kind of stops, you know. It does. I, I'd rather it be me. I, you know, I, I can't stand to see one of my, my young boys get hurt out there. And, you know, this is a collision game. It's a, it's a violent sport in many yep. ways. And that's just the nature of the beast. That's that's what it is. Uh, but uh, you got kids like Justice. Uh, they're gonna, he's going to be okay. Yeah. He's got a great All right. Team. Let's talk a little basketball. It's the winter sports season yeah. at Fettwell High. Well, we've uh, played one game so far against uh, ASD, our varsity, both the boys and the girls won. Uh, the girls, we won a score of uh, 58 to 25, I believe it was, and it got some great uh, uh, senior leadership on that. Are you still there. leading the girls' team? I am. All we're, right. having, we're having a great time. They're so much fun to be around there, a great group, uh, you know, led, led by, you know, Kat Holly, and uh, Leah does a great job, and, and I really appreciate her and, and uh, you know, all, all our girls, you know, Haley Joe. Uh, is doing a great job for us, and we really appreciate what what they bring to the for the day. Is, is there, uh, you know, this is I think this is the first year that you didn't call plays. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. How, yeah. How, how did you how did you handle that? Well, you know, it was a lot different for me. But Coach Collier is a guy that I can trust, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I, I wanted him to take that that role over, and it allowed me to sit back and take care of more of the whole game. Yeah. Take care of more of the whole game. So it, was, it really worked out well. It yeah. was fine, no problem at all. All right, before we go, uh, basketball schedule for the coming uh, maybe weekend and the holiday well, season. Well, tonight uh, we're going to Pell City to play the Virginia Christian Lions, and it'll be all four teams. Our, our junior high, which my junior high team is looking good too, led by Addison Stanley. She's our point guard, doing a great job there. And uh, our, our junior high boys will be playing. Mm -hmm. Varsity girls and varsity boys. So uh, uh, Coach Moore and I, he's doing a great job with the boys. We're very excited about basketball this year at Felt, but we're going to win some ball games. We want everybody to come out. You know, it's, uh, some places we go, it's kind of a cram to gym, and there'll be Felt with folks everywhere. Yeah. Let me tell you, these, these folks come out. I just want to say thank you to <laughs> all our fans for basketball and for football this year. Great fans, uh, tremendous support. And our administrators, you know, Lynn Rich and Brooke Brewer, great job all year long. And just thanks to Dr. Lacey for all that she does for all of our schools in the county. But what she does for us is just tremendous. Absolutely. And I want to thank you for being a part of a coach's corner this season as a head football coach and athletic director of the Fayetteville Wolves. And I've known Coach Limbaugh for a lot of years. We've been friends and brothers in Christ for a lot of years. And and uh, it kind of makes it easy, you know, when you do <laughs> yeah. an interview, knowing the person. You know? Well, absolutely. But uh, I appreciate all that you do here and what the TV uh, program does for us. It's just tremendous to get our kids out there and get them seen like that. So we really appreciate all that you guys and, and all you do for the churches in this area, too. All Thank right. you. Coach John Limbaugh, head football coach and athletic director of the Fayetteville Wolves. With us this morning, brought to you by Lori Darlings in Fentville and Childersburg. More daybreak coming right up.